everyone. Um, I'm going to be sharing a short experience of uh, treatment of uh, the aneurysmal bone cysts using sclerotherapy or the endovascular approach using embolization and sclerotherapy. So um, ABCs or aneurysmal bone cysts, these are very unusual or uh, kind of weird lesions because we still don't know where to place them. Uh, some people have called them vascular malformations because of the way they appear pathologically. The, the term is very descriptive. It doesn't mean anything pathologically. It's just um, it's a large blown out lesion. Some people have called it tumors, uh, degenerating tumors like osteogenic sarcomas, we st but we still are not sure what these really mean. Um, now, um, managing this surgi uh, surgically is a problem because uh, there's, a, there's a huge amount of recurrence as close to as about 40 percent. Some of the uh, papers have reported as, as, uh, as, uh, as 36 percent. Um, but again, uh, surgically excising these lesions can result in high recurrence. Uh, it's also associated with a lot of functional disability. Um, and um, sometimes these lesions are located in anatomically challenging um, locations, very difficult to operate. That's why uh, uh, most of them primarily get referred to us uh, or when they recur uh, following surgery. Uh, radiotherapy was once thought to be a mode of treatment, but, but now it's obsolete because only of the secondary osteosarcomas that are seen um, following radiotherapy, it has other associated uh, morbidities to add to it. Now, all in all, we had 30 patients, and um, we, um, among these, we had 23 in whom the ABC was um, involving the non-spinal um, uh, areas, where, while in seven patients, the aneurysmal bone cyst was affecting the uh, vertebrae. Now, um, most of our patients were male, which was, again, unlike the, um, the common um, uh, pattern. Um, we saw most of the patients in the second decade of life, and all these patients underwent uh, sclerotherapy and um, a few of them embolization. The most common um, uh, location uh, for the non-spinal group was in the femur and the uh, iliac bone, while in the spinal group it was the cervical lesions that were more common. All these patients um, had some sort of pain. I mean, that was there's a, a huge variation of pain, but all of them did have pain, um, and the other uh, symptoms were seen uh, to a, a lesser incidence. Now, uh, the, the the procedure was um, done under general anesthesia for all all these patients. All the patients. Um, uh, who come to the children's hospital undergo general anesthesia for these procedures. Um, and most of them had a 